A to Z goes about it a little bit differently, but it accomplishes the same thing. So as we take a look at the A to Z, you can see that down the barrel you've got your DC pins, but there is no interlock. You can also see that there are two pins there where AC would be, but if you look carefully, there are no contacts, no pins in there. I prefer if these were blank, but you can see again, there is no chance anybody will be able to use this for AC and no adapter should ever claim that you can. This is the heaviest of the bunch. It feels really robust. I really enjoy using the A to Z primarily because it has this single button design and control. The advantage to this design is that while you can still plug the handle into the adapter when you initiate the charge, you cannot remove it at the end of the charge. What happens is this is locked into the vehicle and then until you press this and remove it, you cannot remove the handle. Let's take a look at how that works. So some people prefer to be able to plug the adapter into the vehicle first and then take the handle and plug it in. With the A to Z, you can absolutely do that. We're going to stop this charge real quick before my plug-in charge kicks on. But here is the important difference here between this and some of the others. This one, you cannot press the button and remove the handle. You have to take the button, press it down, and remove the adapter from the truck itself. And now that that's removed, you can press it again and remove the handle. That's a difference that really matters.